Welcome to today's midday analysis. Today is Thursday, the 21st of September 2017. Time is 15.00 here in the UK. You are looking at a Euro JPY 12 hour chart. I'm going to switch over to, uh, to the Euro JPY 8 hour chart. And uh, we're going to take a quick look at this uh, trade that triggered yesterday. Uh, I had a short trade trigger yesterday on Euro JPY. It's not going too well right now. I mean, it's not going bad or anything. It's just, it's just going really. Uh, it's still in resistance. So I see no reason to close it yet, but I'm possibly going to close it soon. Uh, it's just not really going too well. It's, uh, it's, it's stuck in resistance right now. It's just not looking that great. Uh, but yeah, when I entered this trade, uh, I realized it was a high risk trade upon entering. Uh, I marked it as a high risk trade on the forum. Uh, what I was looking for was just a quick turnaround. I, I wanted to see a quick push down to around about here, uh, exit around about here. And then, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it continued heading up because that's the direction of the overall trend, but it hasn't quite happened yet. And it's looking less and less likely that it's going to happen. So I might close this one out early, or I'm just going to read the price action over the next few candles and just see what 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 happens, see what I uh, I think. So uh, let's look at something else. GBP CAD. What's going on with GBP CAD? Uh, all right. So GBP CAD right now is uh, pushing up uh, from this resistance area. Nothing really much going on here. I was looking for a potential uh, setup here yesterday, but nothing really panned out. It, it never triggered. It never started moving down. Uh, AUDJPY, what's going on with AUDJPY? Uh, AUDJPY is falling into this uh, support area. So it's uh, it's turned around completely now. Uh, it is trending up overall. So this gives us a possible opportunity for a continuation trade. Uh, I mean, right now, obviously, it's just heading into to the area. Uh, it's only only just hit it pretty much. So we can't really jump into a trade right now, but we can already see on the eight hour, we could already see signs that indecision is forming. So price is stalling on this area. We can already see signs of that on the eight hour and probably on the lower time frames. Yeah, four hour, uh, of course. So we're already seeing signs of price stalling on top of the support area. What I want to see is I want to see it uh, stall here a little longer. There's potential for a continuation trade. These are kind of the high probability setups I I uh, I look for and I and I like uh, in the direction of the trend uh, forming on a strong support area. So let's keep a very close eye on this one. ADJPY is looking pretty solid right now. All right, USDJPY, nothing much going on there. It's broken above resistance. And you could say it's stalling on resistance, but even if you were to pull this area up, uh, there's still plenty of resistance below it. So it, it, it wouldn't be a, a good move in my opinion uh, to short here. Plus that trend is insanely strong right now. Uh, so yeah, nothing much going on. Uh, nothing I would want to trade on USDJPY right now. All right, AUDUSD, uh, massive move down. Massive move down on AUDUSD. Uh, Yeah, nothing uh, is popping out to me that I would want to trade. CAD JPY, now this one's stalling pretty heavily on, on the resistance area. There's no real trade set up here in my eyes, but it is stalling pretty heavily on the resistance area. So it's a nice strong uptrend. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much uh, all we can really do with this pair. Just uh, wait and see what happens uh, after it breaks above here or if it comes back down and it hits this this area here. Uh, all right, you're AUD. What's going on with that? B 
big push up to resistance. Uh, all right, so we've already seen earlier this week a reversal uh, here, and it, it dropped down quite far. So now we're seeing what could potentially be another reversal. Looks interesting. Basically, we've got this nice strong proceeding trend heading into an area of resistance. Let's keep a close eye on this. We might be able to catch a short here. Uh, what I want to see is I want to see price. We can already see in the eight, on the eight hour, in fact, that price is stalling. I want to see price stalling uh, a little bit longer for a potential short trade. So very similar to, to what uh, we saw on AUDJPY. Uh, EuroGBP, so what's going on with EuroGBP? It's uh, pushing down to support, stalling on support. Uh, yeah, there's nothing much we can trade here. Uh, EuroUSD is reversing from support. Uh, is anyone long on EuroUSD right now? You are, Ash? Uh, what's your target? Uh, it looks like a pretty decent setup. Uh, I mean, it's not the best setup. Uh, it's kind of like this this area here. Price has really struggled to get through here. So it's not the best setup, but it's not a bad setup. It's pretty decent. Uh, your target's pretty pretty good. Uh, it's a decent target. It's uh, probably going to start slowing down when it approaches there, so uh, if it approaches there. So it's a good target. It's a news-based reversal, so that's also good. Uh, that's some plus points there. Uh, so yeah, awesome. Nice work. All right, GPAUD. It's approaching this resistance area, slowing down a little. I'm curious what happens when it hits this resistance area. If it manages to hit it, I'm curious what happens. It's a very strong resistance area. Price has already bounced from it here on its way down. It's bounced from it before. We can see right there in the past, very recent past. Uh, so that was like, what, end of 2016. Then as it's coming back through it, bounces, breaks up through it, bounces from it. On its way down, it kind of stalled for a short time, but very short time. So that doesn't really mean much. And we got this big bounce here. It's a pretty strong resistance area. Uh, price is approaching it pretty rapidly. So let's see what happens here at the 1.710. Uh, but it's not at the resistance area yet. So it's not a potential setup. Uh, all right, GPJPY. GPJPY seems to be continuing up. It's uh, pushing into this resistance area right now. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty decent resistance area too. It's pushing into that resistance area. There's nothing right now that I would say is trade worthy, but uh, let's see what happens when it hits this resistance area. Uh, GP New Zealand. GP New Zealand's uh, turning around again. Yeah, it's just turning around. Nothing much that we can uh, trade there. GP USD. Yeah, it's just in between support resistance. Nothing that I want to trade there. New Zealand JPY is turning around right now in between support resistance. I'm just going to wait and see what happens with this. Nothing that I really want to trade. New Zealand USD, potential continuation trade here maybe. Yeah, it's not the best one. But not, not the best kind of continuation setup, but uh, maybe it has some potential. Maybe on a small time frame. Let's keep a close eye on it. Who knows? Uh, when this candle closes in a few hours, we can check it out and decide whether it's worth jumping into a, a short term long here. Uh, so this is just a kind of small continuation trade. Something like that we'd be looking for. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to enter this. I just want to see how it closes. Uh, and I'll, I'll decide at that point. We looked at New Zealand JPY, right? Yeah, we did. USD CAD. Uh, 
yeah, it's just in between support resistance. Nothing I really want to trade there. USDCHF is uh, fast approaching this uh, pretty strong resistance area. It's a, it's a solid resistance area that's held price back uh, on several occasions. Once, twice there, another time there. Uh, on its way down, it's stalled here for quite some time before continuing down. So it's, uh, it's already hit this resistance area and we can see it pulling back. Let's see what happens if our buyers manage to get up into this resistance area. Might have a potential short forming there. Uh, yeah, uh, but it's probably not going to happen until next week. So can't really do much right now with that. But we do have some potential setups forming today. We have a potential ADJPY long. Uh, it's forming here on uh, the eight hour chart, uh, even on the four hour chart. But I'm probably not going to trade it on the four hour chart. I want to wait and see how this closes on the eight hour chart. Uh, it could also just develop on, on one of the higher time frames, or it could also just keep heading down. This is not a potential setup, really. This is just an area to watch right now because we're already seeing signs of price stalling on this support area. So right now, this is just an area to watch. It's a strong area uh, and it is possible that price is going to stall here because we're already seeing signs that it's stalling on the lower time frames. So we, we might get a long trade here. Uh, Euro AUD, uh, potential short trade. Price has pushed up into resistance. We're already seeing signs of price stalling here. It's uh, slowing down. It's uh, already pulled back a little bit. It could very well just continue up. That's definitely a possibility. But uh, right now, we're seeing signs of it stalling. So let's see how this closes on the eight hour plus. And who knows, might give us a setup. New Zealand USD, uh, it's just a potential continuation setup. We just went through this one, so no sense recapping that. Uh, and Euro JPY, uh, I mean, right now, I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it for a little while longer. See if it manages to gain some ground to the short side. But if it doesn't really do much, I'm probably going to close this out. I'll keep you guys updated via the forum how I'm going to handle this trade. Uh, but right now, a high-risk setup is just not really doing what I want it to do. So it might be, uh, it might be closed out early. Uh, just going to wait and see. So that pretty much wraps it up for the analysis. Are there any questions, guys? Thanks for watching the analysis. I hope it was useful. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below. Also, for instant notifications when I post analysis or other cool videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Once the setups I share in this analysis trigger, I post live updates as I manage the trade, such as my entry, exit, stop, and when to get out of the trade. For these updates, add me on Facebook or Twitter by clicking the buttons below. I'll see you in the next video.